Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly check-in uh, and we're just asking the question what do you need to hear right now? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. So if you do, I always say if you do know your other placements, it's great to listen to all of them because it gives you the bigger picture of what's going on for you. And it is, like I always say, Pisces, a general reading, you will get the message that you need from this. And if it doesn't resonate, then just let that go. And some weeks it will resonate more than others. And that's just kind of how it is. So let's see, trust, really trust your intuition. And of course, you guys do being Pisces. So strength is coming in. Lovely. The Seven of Cups and... The world card, wow. And at the base, the hanged man. Gosh, there's a lot hanging in the air at this moment in time. There's a lot of things that uh, ha are you waiting to land, really, or complete, or a lot of choices. I just feel like there's things up in the air. And uh, that can actually be a sense of uh, it can be really testing your resolve. It can be really testing your inner strength. It can be really showing you how strong you are. Uh, and it can really be, some of them can be really, it can be exciting. It can be overwhelming. It can be all of these things. But with the world card there, I feel like some things will complete. So if you feel like there's just a whole heap of things at your loose ends, that you're trying to tie up, I feel like they do complete. But it's just a, a moment of feeling like, ah, where am I? Uh, and then there's this sense of being free and liberating yourself and stepping out into a new energy. But for the moment, I don't know why I've got seamstress, someone sewing, someone finishing a dress. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm just getting that, something to do with fashion or dressmaking. Uh, so that might just be for one of you, but that's kind of what I'm getting. So we have the hanged man here, which feels like, again, this energy of uh, something, again, things are up in the air. Uh, and it is a, a sense that uh, there's a there's a period of where things might have stalled. There's a period where a necessary period where a lot of things need to be completed and finished. So I'm kind of getting the same thing with the hanged man is that uh, you're in a bit of a transition phase at the moment, Pisces, uh, just like a, a completion phase, just finalizing a lot of things. So just, and it can be those little last minute details as well that are coming through. Uh, so, but once it finishes, it, it will have this sense of satisfaction and liberation and freedom. So, so I feel like I feel like you're working quite hard here, really working hard, and it's making a lot of decisions and choices throughout the day as well. So you know there is a possibility to get decision fatigue. It's like that thing where Steve Jobs always wore a black t-shirt every day because he didn't want to have to make a decision. That's one less decision he had to make for the day. Uh, I keep getting clothing for whatever reason. Uh, so it might be about what are you going to wear uh, uh, to a special event or an occasion. Uh, it's uh, or how is how are things appearing? So yeah. It says, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. So, yeah, it may be that other people kind of, you know, you've got your eggs in a lot of baskets. You're focused on this thing over here and it is taking a lot out of you in a, in a way because it's uh, you're focusing on it. Uh, and other people might not understand that. They might be like, oh, why are you, why are you doing it that way or why are you... Uh, why are you spending so much time and energy on that? And it's kind of like, because this is important to me. This is what I need to be doing right at this moment. This is where I'm at. And it feels like you can't really be doing anything else because you don't want to be. So uh, again, it is about honoring and trusting your intuition and your spirit because I feel like there could be critical people around you, even Pisces. People because they just don't understand, yeah, your process. So that's something to just honour that because it's a very, it feels very creative as well. I'm getting a lot of creativity coming in and people who are very 
pragmatic and I, for whatever reason I'm getting Virgo <laughs> and we are in Virgo season but you might have a Virgo around you who is uh yeah like I said uh could be quite critical or someone that has those kind of qualities uh could be not to let them dampen your spirit if that's what's coming in for you we have the fire ant so yeah busy you're going to be it's a very busy energy and it's uh there is an energy of making sure you take breaks and don't burn yourself out uh but it's also that certain things can sting people's opinions and expectations or lack of understanding can sting but i still feel like you're just keeping on anyway and just doing it like uh, just keep resolving what it is that you need to be doing so head down bum up uh, I just need to get this done I need to do this now this could be on a bigger kind of soul purpose energy that's coming through here I feel like this is the right one it says I trust the process of life there is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it life supports me and brings to me only good and positive in, in experiences I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good and that's it trust your own process as well we kind of got that about the process trusting the process of life that things will work out even if there's naysayers or that could be your own voice uh, uh, saying why are you doing it that way uh, I think really uh it's a sense of really believe in yourself believe in the way you're doing things believe in your process because I kind of get the way it finishes and completes, you'll be really happy with it and everyone will be like, oh, wow, that's really amazing. And I don't know how you got there, but you got there. So it'll be just those, um, because the people that are kind of, uh, that, that energy that is kind of a bit of a uh, critical or non-believing energy are the ones that don't know how to do it. They don't know how to do what you do. And so they're the ones that will probably be the most surprised and it could potentially even be the most supportive at the end because this energy um, doesn't even necessarily have to be like a, it could be like a sister energy or a sibling energy where they think they're helping you, giving you some kind of feedback, but it really is just kind of, it's not helpful. So it's kind of got that energy where at, but at the end they're like oh my gosh how did you make that that's amazing so yeah I feel like you're creating and making something or working on something Pisces so yeah really trust yourself and you have a beautiful little key has come in now I don't think I've pulled this one out before it's tiny it's really cute and it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland those doors that you unlock and I unlock and step into the world of imagination and you step into this whole other universe and you step into this world that people don't necessarily believe. They have to see it to believe it. But you don't have to because you that's the world you live in. That's the world that you experience. This is how what you, what you see every day. But just because someone else can't put on that lens and see and experience it doesn't mean it's not real and doesn't exist. So down the rabbit hole... Uh, the Alice in Wonderland, I'm getting very strongly. That may mean something to you. It could be to do with children's writing. Uh, it could be to do with your childhood as well. But I feel like, again, there's this sense of this is what I really want you to focus on. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. So, yeah, really trust and believe that. Because I keep getting that one, you kind of open one door and then you go down this other path and then another door opens and it's just a very unusual and different way, a different process that, uh, like I said, other people don't understand, but you do. This is you. So really honour that and trust that and love that. So that's what's coming through and I feel like at the end of it you're kind of going to go, ta-da, and um, everyone will be like, whoa. So it's, I actually think it's a really cute, uh, nice week. It's a nice week, but uh, you might need to think about putting up just some uh, boundaries or a bubble around you when it's like, this is my world and um, I'm only going to let the good things in. So that's the other thing that could come through. So that's it, Pisces. Thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.